For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Saving you guys a bit of a kind of review video on a product from Outdoor Revolution. So with me here today, I've got the Outdoor Revolution uh, Cayman door. Um, so basically it's designed uh, to fit basically different ranges in the Outdoor Revolution Cayman range. So anything of this sort of side fitting kind of style, you've got the ability to put an enclosure on for 22 going forwards. And the joys of it's sort of one product fits lots of different ranges. So it means it's quite versatile and should be pretty easy to get hold of as well. And in some cases, in like with the combo, for example, you can actually put one on either side. So again, it's a great accessory to add to the awning itself. Now, with me here, I've actually got the polycotton version. Uh, so you do have one polycotton version to fit the polycotton combo. Um, and then they've got a polyester version, which is probably gonna be the biggest one that fits the, the polyester combo, the Cayman Curl, the Cayman Curl XLE, and the Cayman KN, uh, which, uh, Cosmos, the Cayman Cosmos, which, essentially means that it makes it very versatile. Now, we've got a separate pitching video of this particular item as well, so if you wanna see how it goes up, you can also look at that as well. But you've got a zip located along the top, so it's a really nice thorough attachment, and new for 22. They've changed kind of the depth of the actual canopy, so it fits a little bit differently to how it would in 21. There's actually now toggle points located on the uh, side of the actual awning itself. Enables you to quite strongly just obviously toggle it on, and then you've got an extra bit of baffle that overlaps it quite nice and neatly. The guide points has got its own guide points on as well, so the ones on the actual awning are made redundant, and you can utilize these to get it looking really nice and sharp. Several pegging points and adjustable webbing straps down here make it easy to pitch. And you've got a really nice flexible and versatile sort of door entry, so it doesn't matter which side you have it or how you want to use it, you kind of accommodate it quite nice and neatly. So you've got a couple of zip pullers, so you can either create a little veranda because you've got four zip pullers. So you can drop that down. There's a little clip there just retain it to keep it nice and tightly to create an airflow into the actual awning as well. Alternatively, by zipping it up, this door can open from left to right or right to left. Alternatively, of course, you can kind of completely move it back out the way a little bit more. Uh, we'll go this way. So we can open it up. So you can go to that point and then roll that back if you really wanted to. And then you've got kind of a little entrance way. Personally for the combo, I'll probably do it right to left on this, on the back side, just because it, then you've got the corridor directly through and not having kind of this hickle pickly pickly look. Now, the ground sheet is included with the actual combo uh, porch door as well. Uh, and what you find is actually that it's a riser ground sheet. So it toggles in and then it's got clip points located a bit higher up, so it allows it to feel like a bathtub. So it feels very much like a sewing ground sheet when you're inside of it. Uh, and we've got kind of um, a little ring camera in shortly just to kind of give you a bit more feel for it as well. And there's now an additional bedroom that can go in here with the new 22 models. And they've put additional clips up on the actual awning itself to accommodate that. So now you can extend the living area um, you, by using it for kind of an open cooking space. So removing the ground sheet and just zip that back uh, have it open and close when you see needed to. You can create more of a water type fixture where you can close the door completely and put the ground sheet in and give that sort of extra area to elongate kind of your main living area. Alternatively, of course, then you put the bedroom in there as well to sleep somewhere inside of it. And because you've got the inner, it's going to be warmer for the person inside. And also you're going to find less condensation, certainly with the polyester models, it's going to be quite crucial. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's pick the camera up and kind of come inside and get more of a grasp for the new porch door. So, kind of as we come in, you can see I've rolled the door to the side. You've got window curtains located um, actually on the model itself. So you can see there's curtains actually built into the main front, uh, well, the front part of the door. Really quite smart. And you can see that kind of overlap really snugly in there. So you're not going to get water in. It's a good level of fabric. So where the poles are, you can probably see the shadow of the darker side of it. And then where it crosses over, so that darker two kind of triangle there. These are two fabrics together. Great seal on top as well over there, and then you've got the additional clips located there for the hanging points. And again, so your color coordinate as well makes it a lot easier to kind of open up 
to a certain degree. There's a ground sheet located at the bottom, so you see how it kind of rises up and clips along the bottom. And actually, you can toggle it down and toggle it up. So you can have a flat running from the back if you really want to. Alternatively, you've got that kind of bit of a better seal. And as we kind of come out, you can see it really helps just to create an additional section in the main part of the awning. So I think it's a really nice addition. A very, uh, thank you, Arch. A very clear for way of doing it. And certainly, I think I like the idea that essentially it's one fits all. So each individual model in the side fitting kind of came in range. Like I said, be it the Combo Curl, Curl XLE, or the, uh, I forgot to get the last one, Cosmos. You can make it kind of how you want to, and it's just one size fits all. Um, but really smart bit of kit, a really great extra. And I wouldn't be surprised if essentially most people end up buying one of these uh, just to have. You know, it's better to kind of almost have and not need and need not have. It just kind of gives that extra bit of flexibility to the awning, regardless of kind of what the weather's doing. And the pack size isn't particularly overly big as well, which again is definitely a, a crucial factor when with, the, you know, we have certainly VW kind of size vans, uh, spaces, everything really. So yeah, that's kind of a little video review and getting to know the uh, basically Cayman porch door. Any more questions, feel free to follow the link below to the website with all the prices of the actual item, as well as let us know in the comments box below what you think whether it's something that you think could be improved, altered. I believe actually, to be fair, in terms of its fitting, it won't fit the curl from 2011, sorry, 2011, um, 21, just because the zip isn't located there. As I, I know as it stands at the moment, this wood will fit the 21 combo. Um, so that should still be okay. So you can retrofit it for that model, but it's the actual curl itself. I know you can't. So. But yeah, let us know what you think. Any more questions, feel free to let us know in the box below. So hopefully we'll see you again soon.